My name's Daddy. I play Clash of Clans sometimes. So, um, yeah, so my family's away for a few nights, so it's really quiet. It's just me, me, me and Cassidy, my dog, here at the moment. Um, if you're interested, by the way, Cassidy is a Tibetan Terrier. And um, I put up a test video of Cassidy about five years ago. It's the first video that I've got. If you look at my upload, you'll see it's the first one I've got. And for some bizarre reason, Cassidy got more, uh, more views than I probably ever will. He's on 1.3 million views at the moment. Um, so, you know, I really have no idea why, but he's a lovely dog. So, as, I'm, as the family are away, uh, there's some good news and some bad news. The, the good news is I'm probably going to do some more videos because it's a bit boring here on my own, just playing Clash of Clans and talking, talking rubbish with my clan mates. Um, but the bad news is I'll be, playing, I'll be doing more videos. <laughs> so, uh, if you don't want to watch any more videos, well, you know, thanks. Thanks anyway. It's been nice knowing you. So let's do a few base reviews. So the first one is um, Jeff, who's in Andorran Empire. So um, obviously there's, there's a Star Trek theme there. Anyway, so uh, yeah, Jeff has got, I, I quite like his base actually. Um, he's got a lot of very powerful splash weapons in the middle. That means that anybody who's going to get close to that, you know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of damage that's coming from different sides. Um, so once you, you know, he's been attacked, evidently. But there's been an awful lot of damage done to the uh, to the attackers at the outside. There, he's uh, splitting up the base nicely using the uh, you know using his walls, and he's separated his gold. It's very difficult to get both of those at the same time because you're effectively attacking two great two bases. Um, Jeff, you you know I say this a few times. In my humble opinion, it's a good idea to use these if you're upgrading them as as magnets for giants. Um, if you were to put that just out there perhaps, then the giants would be attracted to it and you could pound them with your, with your, with your offences. Um, you know, you're, you're improving, uh, your channel 8 do not, Im well, you can go up if you like, but it, you know, you're going to get less less loot if you go to channel 9 sooner and you're going to get attacked you know, by lots of lower levels as well because you'd be a greater, higher, higher town level, town hall level. So yeah, stay where you are is, is what I'd suggest until you're, well, as max out as you can. I mean, great, you've got some fantastic mortars. Those are one-shot um, level 5 archers, which is good. Um, right, so the next one. So good work there, Jeff. I like that one. Next up is uh, Adam12457 from GMG Nation. Let's have a look here. I know we're third. We're going to get the first again, don't worry. We were, we were number one for so long, you know, we just have to let some other people, it's a bit rude if we don't let other people be number one, isn't it, really? It's actually quite tough at the top at the moment. Um, Adam12457. Yeah, they're suffering from this, this cheap shield thing. Uh, right. Ah, Adam. Unless there's two Adams, that's you. Did I just move the iPad this way? I usually stick it down, but... Anyway, my technical director, my son, is in the room. Um, okay, cool. Uh, so you're town hall level 7. You're attempting a hybrid base there, protecting both cups and, and resources, which, you know, it's a tough ask. Um, I'd, I'd do either, one, of, one or the other, really. Um, given that you're town hall 7 and you haven't yet got all pink, really, you want to be maxing out your purple by the time you go to town hall 8. So... Um, you know, I, I'd, I'd, I would suggest doing a little bit of farming or, or gemming if that's your thing. Um, let's have a look. So Wizard Tower 2, Wizard Tower 2, yeah, those those could do with being upgraded. So in order of priority, I would upgrade your Wizard Towers and upgrade your Mortars. Um, you know, they really are your, your, your you know your best defence, if you like. Upgrade your Walls. Um, and then I'd probably go for the Arch Towers. Arch Towers are air and ground, they have lots of reach. Um, you know, they, they really are an underestimated uh, weapon, uh, the Arch Towers. Your air defence isn't great, but at 1327, 8 cups, you're going to get hit by many air, air attacks. I'd suggest you probably get hit by more um, minions than, 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 than dragons. So, uh, right, so that's not such a bad, uh, bad attempt there, Adam. Just, you know, I, I wouldn't go up a town hall level um, anytime soon, and in my humble opinion, you should consider. Maybe a career of farming for a month or two, just to get those walls and, and, and defences maxed. 
So, last up today is a clan called V hyphen up and it's the creator. Oh my gosh, we're gonna meet the creator. Right, let's have a look. V hyphen up. Uh, it's the creator, isn't it? Sorry. I've got my laptop on the side of my... I, I film using a... Um, kind of elder. I film using a tripod and a camera, so it's kind of all a bit... All a bit in the way, really. Sometimes you get my head in the way as well, which is not great. Okay, creator, cool. So you are level, tunnel level 6, that's good. You're working on your walls. Uh, you're upgrading your, your splash defences, which is excellent. I quite like that. You've segregated the base very nicely. Um, you got a question, are you, are you going, are you going for caps or are you going for, uh, for, 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 for Town Hall? I would imagine, going by the fact you've got a thousand cups, that you're probably looking to get your, your, your gems at 1250 and pushing, you know, to, to get that. Um, the walls if you can try and sort of upgrade these to black, that'd be fantastic. Um, don't go up the town halls too quickly. Uh, you, oh, you've got your clan castle in the perfect place as well. That's going to activate pretty much 360 degrees. No, I like that. Um, yeah, a good, a good. I mean, look, the basic principles of design at a very, you know, lower town hall level stage, really. You know, town hall in the middle if you want to protect your cups. Surround them by your defences and then surround that by the other stuff um, so that you, the attackers are going to, be, be focusing on those while your defences are attack, you know, dealing with them. Again, you know, upgrades, more, upgrade defensive stuff outside of the walls, but under the mortar, there would be ideal. In fact, why don't you change, put that cannon over to there, and then pop that mortar there, so that there's, I don't think that would quite get it, but that, there you've got two defensive buildings there that could attack the, uh, the giants as they try to attack the up upgrading uh, mortar. No, good effort. I like the fact little little squares like that are very effective at this level. You'll be seeing lots of level three archers and you know possibly level three, maybe level four um, barbarians and a few giants. So no, that's good. Good. I like that. So look, thank you very much indeed. Just a quick one today. Um, Say so thank you for for the early commentators on my on my videos. Um, sometimes you get lucky and I just review your base. Um, sometimes you get really unlucky and I review your base twice. <laughs> So look, these are just my, my thoughts on, on it anyway. I hope uh, it's been interesting. I really enjoy doing these. Um, do you know what? I think I'm going to do one about raiding. How about that? Thank you very much indeed. Take care and look forward to speaking with you soon. Bye-bye.